Welcome to the first ever Formula One Grand Prix in South Korea. Construction work continued right up to the last minute here at the Korean International Circuit in Yeonggum. Now the race can finally get going. Right after the start comes the first key corner, a double left-hander, which is critical to the car's speed on the long straight that follows. The circuit in the southwest of the peninsula ranks as one of the more demanding on the calendar, on paper at least. 18 corners and two long straights give good reason to hope for lots of exciting overtaking, for example here, breaking down into turn three. The challenge for the engineers is to find the right aerodynamic setup. Less downforce and thus more speed are what's required here in the first sector. From now on, however, there are more turns and drivers with lots of downforce and good grip have a clear advantage. Next comes an ultra-fast right-left combination. Here, as the crowds watch on, driving skill and the right setup are an absolute must. Exactly what that should be, however, is something the teams will not know until first practice. The Korean International Circuit is part permanent racetrack and part street circuit. Like in Monaco and Valencia, this part leads past residential complexes and the harbour, with lots of golf courses and businesses alongside the track. The organisers have made every effort not to be outdone in any way by the other spectacular circuits in Asia. After the first 55 laps, or just under 310 kilometers in Yeonggum, we'll be able to see whether in terms of racing action too, South Korea has been able to match the fantastic races in Japan and Singapore.